so welcome guys again and today our topic is introduction of blood bank now bank word suggest us to store something so in the blood bank we store blood and their component for the definition of blood bank blood bank is a part of hospital laboratory where we store the blood and do proper testing of that blood and this proper testing to avoid the risk of transfusion related problem it may be due to incompatible transfusion it may be some transmittable disease to recipient so we have to avoid this with proper testing in the blood bank why we transfuse blood in case of anemia where the patient having a low amount of hb in case of blood loss due to some injury or accident cases we have to compensate blood that is lost during injury or accident cases similarly in case of surgery we can also transfuse the blood especially in case of pregnancy where the amount of blood is lost very much in case of leukemia patient where the wbc are not a healthy one so we have to replace that abnormal wbc with a new healthy wbc so that the wbc fight with the infection and save the life of that person another in case of patient having a coagulation factor deficiency such as deficiency of factor 8 9 so we have to transfuse fresh frozen plasma which is a component of blood and we can also give cryopreservation in some serious cases now how blood bank work take example a patient need a blood so patient family member act as a donor donate blood to blood bank in some another cases such in case of leukemia or blood donation camp voluntary donor who donate blood for the mankind not for any uh, any personal purpose okay so we donate blood to the blood bank in the blood bank we check the blood and this is called processing in the blood bank finally transfer to the patient or a required one now types of work in the blood bank so first and important thing is blood grouping we have to check the blood group such as a blood group b blood group or anything else by forward grouping or reverse grouping another is we have to also check some infectious that can be transmit to some another by transfusion process such as hiv very very dangerous hepatitis b and c malaria syphilis etc another is term apheresis okay in which we have to separate the blood component so that we can give different component to different patient based on the requirement like if someone need only rbc so why we give whole blood it can increase the circulatory overload to avoid that the new thing is come in the blood bank is apheresis so in this we can separate red blood cell or wbc leukocyte platelets as you seen the process is simple such as centrifugation in which we separate the rbc at the lower one plasma at upper and the buffy coat in middle which contain a platelet and wbc we can also store the blood in the minus 70 degree celsius which will become a fresh frozen plasma and cryopreservation which is very important in case of factor 8 deficiency or in case of von willebrand disease and here the end of video and this is just a introduction to blood bank